Well, guys, so bought this Nest thermostat third gen used, and uh, it came it came to me. You know, everything else is fine. However, um, the battery kind of doesn't hold as much of a charge as I'd like it to be, or compared to the Nest E, which I bought brand new. The battery charged very fast for the Nest third gen. This one, I think it's been used for about two years. The battery is really not in good condition. So I went online and I bought a replacement battery. And in this video, I'm just gonna show you guys how to replace the um, dying Nest third gen battery with a brand new battery replacement. Okay, so let's get started. First thing first, I'm just gonna pull it off the base, like so. And uh, it's gonna say, you know, to use it, plug it back in. Uh, right now it's using the battery power to remember the settings however what we're gonna do is uh, we're just gonna come over here and uh, open it up and putting a brand new set of battery that I bought so this looks to be the only aftermarket company that makes Nest third gen replacement battery and uh, it's a 380 milliamp hour 3.7 volt battery so for this one when the battery is fully charged it, it displays about 3.8 8 8 to 3.85 volts um and when it's this when it's uh it's it's drained uh i think it was dis displaying 3.4 to 3.5 volts um so just to give you guys an idea and uh this is uh for learning some that third gen and this is what the battery looks like so the battery is made in china and uh um the brand is cameron Sino, okay so let's let's open it up and uh, we're gonna open up this as well it's pretty easy okay so let's get started all right so i took the battery out the new battery out and uh nest over here um uh, i have my little multi-tool this one I have the very small sized uh, phillips screwdriver so all i'm gonna do first step is remove these two screws and we can get the first layer uh to open okay I can't do it with uh, with one hand, so I'm gonna do it with both of my hands and then show you guys the next thing to do. So removing this two screw will allow the first uh, part of the plate to be removed. And you don't have to remove those two screws. Those two screws are what's holding the little pin connector over here, okay? So at this point, how do you take this out? You can't just drag it out here. You have to actually rotate the panel so when you rotate it just a little bit it disengages uh, itself from the panel itself and you can just simply pop it out here uh, once it's out as you can see it's connected by a cable over here be very gentle and careful with that cable okay uh, that's what's connecting to your pin um, so very important to take good care of it the next step is remove those two screws and you should be able to get the second uh, panel off as well. Okay, that's what we're gonna do next. I'm gonna remove those four uh, screws. So we have the four screws out and uh, just something fun to look at on the back of the nest plate. You have your clicking button over here. So that's, uh, that's uh, when you click on all the sides, the button gets decompressed over here. That's a clicking button and uh, are surrounding it is five springs that provides tension when you try to you know rotate around and over here was that little two screw that was holding the um, the thing in place on the top right here so um, anyway uh, we're gonna continue with the tear down and I'll try to get to the battery and the next step we're just gonna need to get this plastic cover off the base so I basically just lightly lifted up this cover and it exposes where the direction of the ribbon is. So uh, when, you, when you see on the top, this is where the ribbon comes out and it's actually mounted at the bottom of the thermostat. So if you need to remove the ribbon, just simply pop the, uh, the tab over here very gently. You should be able to lift the whole ribbon and the top two plate assembly off, okay? Uh, we are interested in getting the battery, so I'm gonna just remove this temporarily and we're gonna access the battery from this point on, or I can just flip it over here and disregard the ribbon and we can access the battery directly from the other side, as you can see over here, okay? So uh, the battery is connected with this little three pin over here 
if you inspect the replacement battery, it's a very tiny pin. So just very gently pop it out, very gently pop it out. And we should be able to put this one uh, back in there. Okay, so let me try to do that. Hmm. You know what, guys? So after a close examination, the Nest battery is rated at 2.1 watt hours, 3.7 volts plus. However, this uh, aftermarket battery is only rated at 1.41 watt hours. So it's almost 60%, uh, like 40% reduction in the capacity of the battery. And uh, at this point, I don't really want to remove the existing battery because it still kind of works and it's still holding a charge. It does, it's just, it doesn't hold as long of a charge. So instead of risking, you know, damaging the original battery and damaging the board and removing the battery, I am just gonna continue to use the old battery until it dies, while I'm just gonna keep this battery as a true backup when the battery literally just does not hold charge anymore, okay? So at this point, um, I showed you how to replace or at, le at least how to access the battery compartment. My personal decision is I'm not gonna replace the genuine battery with a much reduced capacity battery over here. Uh, however, if your battery is really completely dead, you should give this a try and you might just be able to uh, fix your nest with a dead battery, okay? So to recap, I'm gonna put everything back on the thing and so you know exactly what the uh, reassembly process is and it's pretty much just the six screws total, okay? You just need to align them properly to get them back into the place which is not hard to do, all right? So first thing first is um, I'm just gonna have the two piece very slowly goes back into the, into the thing. And let's see. And it kind of automatically aligns itself. So really there isn't much that you need to do. So the first, first plate is in there and we just need to align it to the USB base and then kind of push it down, find the hole for the Phillips screwdriver, screwdriver. And we're gonna do the first two piece right here. Again, hard to do with one hand, I'll try my best. So once you align it in here, it should be really easy to just, uh, okay, let me do it with two hands much better with two hands doing it so obviously just four screws you gently screw them back be really really careful not to bend or twist the data cable very important okay so the last step is just uh, remember how you took it out you actually twist it counterclockwise so now we're gonna put it in the counterclockwise position and slowly twist it back in there Again, requires two hands usually. And now test the button. The button is working fine. So we twist it back and the last step is just put those two screws in here and lock it. And your nest is reassembled if you did a battery replacement. I uh, hope you found this video helpful. Uh, uh, I mean, Unfortunately, I didn't replace the aftermarket battery because the capacity of the aftermarket battery is really too small to my liking. Um, I'm, I'm going to keep using my original until the battery dies completely, okay? Um, but the steps I've already showed you. So when you take the old battery out, just keep in mind it's double-sided taped, double -sided taped onto the shield, the EMI shield on the back of the circuit board. So be very gentle when you are removing the old battery. It's highly likely that when you remove it, you cannot reuse it because the battery is gonna be bent and it's gonna be twisted, okay? So properly recycle your lithium iron battery and uh, you should be good with the brand new battery. If you want to secure the new battery onto the backing, uh, if the double-sided tape is still on the EMI shield, feel free to just put the new battery on there. If not, just get another double-sided tape and uh, tape the new battery onto the shield.
Okay, so that's it. Thank you so much, guys, for watching. Hope you found this video helpful. If you did, please do hit the like button or subscribe. And I should have more similar how-to videos coming out for you guys. Thanks again and uh, take care.